I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. I'm praying for you, girl. Your soul is on the fire. Now you're trying to ask for God to help you and take you, take, take you away from the people who are not for you. You are not for the people, the things that you have been doing. Okay. So let's just clarify that. You're gonna have to correct your behavior. You're gonna have to repent. You, you're gonna have to go in the fire. Hopefully that's jail. Not just hell. You know what I'm saying? But you're gonna go through it, sister. You're going to go through it. So I just wanted to highlight my sister at the beginning of this live. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody be giving her the platform on what she do. You know, I'm not going to play all her events. But what we're going to show you is maybe some of the end results of her events. We're talking about credit card statements. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go into some stuff tonight. Hit the like button. All right. So let's get into, okay. This first, let's get into this. Um, just a little article. This is two days ago. Faced with fury over spending, Henry went on a media tour um, with um, built taxpayer and built taxpayers. So you know they were complaining about those billboards, which people have been following. <clears throat> that that has been brought up in the board's meeting a couple of months ago. They've been highlighted. That I think it was Belcher flying that paper around who was it correct me and the paper had all these little purple pictures on it all suddenly all these little purple banners is all around dalton mm -hmm. this guy this lady is out of control so let's just listen to this article real quick and keep this broadcast moving let's see what happened hopefully it please come on baby you know i'm messing with my sister tonight Right. Rising at home, Tiffany Henyard went on the road. It was a public relations tour meant to combat her critics. <laughs> it wound up raising more questions than it answered, and once again, cost her community. Y'all are black, and y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. When angry residents began filling public meetings to demand answers after WGN Investigates exposed more than $100,000 spent on first-class travel, meals, and more, this suburban mayor and township supervisor attempted to silence her critics through a series of interviews. And you have been in the news a lot, so that's why I'm glad that you're up here today to clear up some things. Yes, I'm here to lay the mess to rest. We got elected to serve. That's it. We didn't get elected to make sure we like one another. Those interviews took place in Washington, D.C. and New York, and Henyard traveled with a small entourage that was at least partially paid for by taxpayers. Credit card records show township taxpayers were charged more than $3,000 by a photographer who said he was paid to take pictures of Henyard on set. They also paid $561 for the photographer's airfare. At the same time, a township credit card was charged $1,100 for 13 Uber rides. She's on uh, oh. a mission for basically for herself. I mean, so no, the township should not be paying for that. Um, that should be coming out of her own pocket. Chris Gonzalez has been the sole dissenting voice on the township board, but there are signs Henyard's support is splintering. Residents now routinely jam township and village board meetings. Okay. The charges we know about come from Thornton Township. We don't know if Dalton taxpayers also picked up a portion of the cost, including airfare and hotel, because Dalton has failed to follow state transparency laws, even an attorney general's order to turn over financial records. But we can yeah. tell you Henyard's spending, along with contracts, permits, and payments to her allies, included it definitely the reporting helped tremendously. Uh, <clears throat> I think it just it, it woke up a lot of people as far as just to really just take a look. 
I'm fighting against corruption now. And that's why I'm being a uh, slander in the media because people want to have their way with me and they cannot and will not. Henry, Henry. Henry has only given one local. We got to start right there because there's two more minutes in this video. And did this bro just say she fighting corruption? Did the she just did technology and flipped it on the people who fighting against her ass? No, I'm fighting corruption. You're going to listen to some of the things she said in yesterday's meeting. And she she said, yeah, people are conspiring. Oh, matter of fact, that was uh, thicker than a stick KP. And talked about people are conspiring to get their agenda and do things as though they have some nefarious plans because now you have to basically communicate through email. When we gonna get to that? Okay, okay. Let she she's fighting corruption, y'all. Do you hear how she flipped it? Let's listen. Television interview about her spending. Mm. It was in late 2023 with WGN Investigates. The first and last time she spoke to us. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Y'all look at her eyes. I know we're supposed to be looking at the content, but I want y'all to pay attention. You see how her eyes look oval? And then y'all going to look sometimes how the top of her eyelids look flat. I just want y'all to pay attention. That's my nursing assessment. I'm shutting the hell up. Okay. Every time I see her eyes bright like this, I'll be like, oh, yeah. And then when I see that top lid flat, I'll be like, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I got distracted. Let's listen. She said that she does not have the credit cards. Okay. But we're going to look at some of these credit card statements. And there's a time frame in 2023 where things look a little bit shady. You know, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to look at that. But this is what she said. That's why we like to do these lives here because we're going to compare and contrast what she said, they said, and what we, what we see in paper. Okay. Lies, lies, and more lies. Try to have them Betty Boo eyes. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Look at her. Lies. What, what is that? No comment. No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. No, a little, little tip tip. That's when she got caught lying. Look at this lying ass face. <laughs> For you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Look at this girl. Since then, we uncovered Terrible. evidence that she used government staff, vehicles, and money for her namesake cancer charity. Here is what she told Roland Martin during that media Flashback. tour. What is the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation? You said it's not affiliated with you at all. Correct. Well, what is it? So someone made up a foundation. They named it after me, and they like my work that I do in the community, and it's called Tiffany Henyard Cares. The next day, Martin went back on the air to say Henyard's answers don't add up. It is not simply to say, oh, I got no involvement. Respectfully, Mayor, you do. Mm. A producer of one of those shows Henyard appeared on said the media tour was arranged by the Whitley Agency. That's an Atlanta-based public relations firm Henyard hired to represent Thornton Township and Dalton. Taxpayers oh. also foot that firm's $5,000 a month bill. I'm sorry, y'all. You none got got by Lena. I done told you they got scam artists out here. They didn't give a damn if Thornton um, trustees okay that. I saw. I was like, who? Remember, people was asking like, who the hell will work with her, knowing all this shit going on? Atlanta, a crooked ass. No disrespect, y'all know that's where I'm at up out here. But I'm gonna just keep it real. I done told y'all. That's why I be on point. Look at that. Anyway, let's keep it moving. We have a, um, a lot of videos out there about the banner. I was going to do a video about that, but I think that y'all got a, a good idea of when the trustees were arguing about that. They got a banner when they was flipping that paper around. It was all purple, and now y'all got purple banners all down y'all street, okay? Now, let's get into this. This is this is continued about the banners. We're going to move on from there, and now what we're going to do is start to get to our Next part. Now we want to talk about some of the people who um fill in the fire. So we already know, and I'm not gonna put the clip up there, Miss Mr. Um, am I on the list? Brown, Stanley Brown, his ass. You don't know what to expect from him, and that's as far as people turning the tables on 
a little tentative, okay? So I think he's a little slow to go. So they're going to end up, he's going to talk to me. Nervous about the credit card situation, okay? Here we go. We're almost done, y'all. We getting, I told you it's going to be a two hour live. I'm going to hit it. Y'all going to get the facts and y'all going to be over there to ask some questions. I'm sorry, God, guys. I didn't mean to just go into the side, but I really had to say that because. It, I've been I've been peeping stuff and it's really ridiculous and stupid. You see what I'm saying? So I just really want you guys to be on point to pay attention to what's going on. Go ask these trustees, ask Hinger the questions you need and put it to the forefront so the feds could pay attention to this. It could be a whole bunch of information in the group, but if nobody highlighting it, it's not going to be highlighting. Now, this is the last thing I'm going to show y'all tonight. All right, this was put up by. Mr. Robert, right? I'm sorry, I'm stretching a little bit. Coming to the end. Yes, Paul Roberts. He up uh, well, he put, I think he put this document and then he put another document up where he asked questions. Or, or was it um Ty? It was one of them. Now, right here, you're gonna see credit card statements. These credit card statements is Thornton Township credit card statement, and this one is for 129, 2023. Now, just what I'm seeing is that the balance goes up uh, about average $80,000 every month is paid off, you know, and I was looking at some of the spending and I'm like, okay, I'm seeing a lot of Amazon. I see gas bills. I see Comcast here a few different times. So, you know, I know it's different things that need to be paid off in the township. So I'm kind of like being open minded, but. When you see Comcast Chicago bill 112, one, two, three times back to back for different prices, it's like, okay, who Comcast bill is being paid? So you have one for 495, 248, and three. Let's zone it in right here. Okay, let's zone it in. So I, I'm, I'm looking at that like, what the hell? You know, Comcast bill, Amazon. New Sam's, and I know y'all having like events there. You got Verizon phone, some people who have phones that could be the police phones. So I'm, I'm looking at that now. As you move on, you're gonna see other things come up. Like at the bottom of this, you got Kirk's Barbecue, $84. You got um, Hooters, $208. Starbucks, $35.15. These are the things you have www.cold.com on. This is one eight. This is one eight. I would have assumed that's going into 2024. I think this is why the trustees are getting nervous. You're going to see here Kohl's. Somebody is shopping at Kohl's on one eight, $35, $215. This is not regular township spending. Not at all. Target. You can see here, it's Target here. Um, Simply Cellular, $10. Now, this is what I'm like, what? Now, I just got to show you. I'm just going to show you these first few pages, and y'all go in yourself, and I will put the link here because I know it's in San Adulton, but I'm going to put it for y'all so y'all go right to it because y'all need to go to page. This is in two, page 266. That's towards this time frame, 2023 to 2024. I said, let me start there. Let me just move on down to the end of the paper because things seem pretty conform at the top. You got Walgreens, Target, Blueberry Field, Target, Olive Garden, 208, Starbucks, $7.50. You heard her at the beginning of this broadcast say, I don't have a credit card. I have nothing to do with the credit card, okay? So let me just show you a few more, and then we're just going to sign off because I don't want to cut it into nobody live. I want you guys to enjoy everything that Dalton and Thornton has. So let's get to the last part. Um, basically, it looks like Hingard has her hands on this credit card. So if you want to see it, there's a reason why Thornton trustees are putting their foot down. You can see it, obviously, in these documents. At the bottom of this page, you're going to see Food for Less for $136, Food Junction, South Holiday, $363, Subway, two Subway transaction on 1-8. It posted on 1-8. One was from 1-6 and one from 1-10. So, um, no, they were from 1-6 and 1-6. I do apologize. Um, so, basically, 
Kenyard is spinning like a fool. The news is not lying. The proof is in Dalton. Um, I mean, in, in Dalton politics page. I want you guys to keep on doing what you're doing because y'all handling your business. Y'all on her ass from when y'all wake up to when y'all go to sleep. And that's what it is. Keep the pressure on her. But what I will say is just pay attention to the candidates that you have for each of these positions. Get to know them. Don't be just distracted, you know, about just all the stuff that we constantly sharing on the Internet. Um, and just focus on building for yourself. I'm going to be honest, because whoever's in office, you're going to have to know how to maneuver around them. Even if you get somebody you like, you don't like. And that's why I always talk about being self-sufficient. That's why I was talking about you understanding and have critical thinking. So you won't have your hands out and say, hey, I need this. I need that. You're just going to keep pushing. You're going to look for resources. They're going to give it. They don't. You move forward. Y'all come together collectively, work together. I love what I was hearing where someone was talking about um, having like, I know I mentioned a neighborhood watch months ago about because y'all can't trust the police. But they were talking about like a neighborhood program that y'all was going to get together and start like you know really tackling issues together that is what i'm talking about grassroots you guys depending on each other you're being task orientated sticking to the facts leaving the emotions alone shut the fuck up shut up y'all sometimes i get emotional because i'll be where everybody love each other and work together i don't be liking that sideball shit i don't like it it is what it is. But love and peace to everybody. I'm going to leave it like that. I hope I presented a good uh, presentation to you guys and gave y'all a lot of information to work with. I'm going to leave all the links at the bottom. All those links is in Thornton. So I put a great presentation for you guys to see what's going on. Let's keep our fingers crossed that fat ass is not going to be in that position. He is dangerous. Thicker than a snicker KP is a dangerous person to put in there. Please ask what's going on with the food pantry. There's over... Close to $5 million each year coming out of Food Pantry as I highlight two donations. Who the f is getting those donations? Hmm? All right. So with that goes to say, I'm going to sign off. I don't even have no music to play with for you guys. But you know what I do have? I'm going to have a closing. I'm going to let y'all know that I have a video that I'm going to release tomorrow. Um, it's going to highlight the foundational like information of how Dalton is was when Tiffany first got in and how she went on a rapid spring of spree. We're going to show that. And then what I'm going to be trying to do is get into whatever else I can find about Dalton and what type of situation they're in at this point. Cause I think she has um, basically ran the well dry. She literally spent all these people money. And then what's going on, what really bothers me is that they're saying that they're going to get them money from taxation and it, it, it pissed me off because y'all already know i'm fighting mines right here y'all ain't about to tax me and that's why i'm teaching y'all how to fight so i love you guys y'all have a beautiful night thank you for being here with grace levi love you have a blessed blessed day let's listen to some tupac on the way out tomorrow like, he's a me I only feel that it's reincarnation. I can learn, don't. Yes, I hear you. Love niggas on the streets. Ain't that a bit? Come, y'all ain't give a fuck about us when we were broke and poor. When we get a little money, you want to stop us and block us. What the game is that? Hard words are spoken, many no. promises broken as if it's useless to hope it got me constantly smoking. My role model was a gold bottle of Vogue, surrounded by my closest homies, but nobody knows me. I pray to God it ain't easy. Half the cops in California got a heart on the squeeze, man. Running through the back streets, popping over fences, trying to shake the fucking canines. Run around senses, I'll probably be a mystery to me, but a legend is something. I've been a man for many women. A husband for nothing. In case you see me out in traffic, looking nervous and hot, my hands holding my boots will they serve us a dot. May God forgive me for my crooked ways. I didn't mean it, knew I'd fall in love with money the first day that I seen it. Maybe now they can understand. It's my occupation. It's clear that my only fear of death is really called every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was a trustee. trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's why I know the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay. 
uh, plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. Yep, let's get it. Drunk as Imagine if my small business blew up overnight and I woke up to some sales. Boost this video so people who like my products can find me. Algorithm. Where you at, bitch? Because I'm tired of posting viral content and getting two and a half likes. We finna fight home. Imagine if my small business blew up overnight and I woke up to some sales. Boost this video so people who like my products can find me. Algorithm. Where you at, bitch? Because I'm tired of posting viral content and getting two and a half likes. We finna fight home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,